Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Cast. Today we're going to be taking a look at Speed, one of the best uh, Rising Terrans right now. I think you can still call him a Rising Terran for sure. Going up against Yoon, one of the best Rising Zerg players. Yoon, of course, fresh off of a top four in the CNSL. Uh, had an absolutely great tournament there, you know, an ACS champion. And definitely someone that we're looking at becoming probably an ASL regular in the next couple of years. Uh, speed, a little bit more old school than that, um, than Yoon. But Speed is actually a very interesting case right now. Uh, so, you know, I talk about certain players like, okay, for instance, the newer generation of pros that I think are going to start to take over a bit. People like Scan, uh, Ruin, Motive, Yoon. HM, right? These are these are names that you guys are probably pretty familiar with at this point that are like basically pro level but are not making ASL all the time. Uh, Speed, I feel like, is a different beast. He's been around longer than them. He's been a higher level longer than them. But he's playing really well lately. Really, really well lately. Uh, and so I do think he's someone that is very likely to become an ASL staple, a, a, you know, a, a mainstay within ASL. I do think that that will occur, uh, but it's like a different, it's a different feel than someone like, uh, you know, Scan or, or, or someone like that. So I just, I, I wanted to mention that because Speed is actually a very interesting player to watch right now. And by the way, he's just going for an eight racks pressure. This will go into a command center afterwards, but he's hoping to get some drones against a hatchery first he probably will get some drones uh but anyways speed is a really interesting player because he actually has very different builds he's a very creative Terran uh he plays a lot of technical games he has a lot of really interesting like factory openers uh he plays more aggressively he's almost like his Terran versus Protoss is kind of like ample and his Terran versus Zerg is kind of like sock isn't that interesting? Yeah, that's kind of not exact. You know, he's definitely his own his own player, but that's kind of that's kind of I guess the way that I think about his play. Now, that being said, eight racks is a very basic build, so it's you know nothing too special here that we're seeing. We'll see if he has some sort of um, follow up here against Yoon that'll that'll make it uh, more unique. Anyways, uh, Yoon pulling a lot of drones right during the eight racks. You need to start the bunker to force the drones to pull. And then you micro against the drones and it's like, okay, are we going for the bunker? Or are we not? Is the Zerg going to try to break? The bunker can... By the way, if you put the bunker over here, the first bunker, you can't get it. You need it in an area like this where you have a retreat path. If it's over here, the drones go behind you and they just flank. Uh, they're, you know, when you're running back towards your rally, though, they can't really do that, right? So anyways, the drones do walk down this way and are stopping reinforcements, but that means the bunker gets up. So this is going to be a very difficult game for Yoon, I think. The drones do end up killing Marine. He hasn't lost like a critical mass of uh, drones that would make me think he's losing, gonna lose this. Now notice he sets a Marine in this back bunker. That's so that a flank can't come in very well. Runs back two uh, Marines in this back bunker. That's really interesting. I'm surprised at the way he's playing this. Oh, he's trying to dive on drones is what it is. Or he's trying to get back to this bunker. Oh, that was interesting, okay. I was wondering what that was all about. Yeah, just kind of switching between the bunkers back and forth. Now, Yoon is on only nine drones, so this is this is tough. <laughs> was that SCV was trying to get a kill up here? That did not work. <laughs> Good try. Good effort. Uh, and so speed right now definitely has an advantage. He's starting a second racks. I think that's pretty solid. Uh, you know, he knows that. Well, here's the thing. If you deal damage to your opponent, like, for instance, he didn't kill that many drones, right? But he did force a lot of links, and he did force a lot of lost mining time. So when you start to get some damage on your opponent uh, in this matchup, I actually really like this as a follow-up. A lot of pros will do something like, okay, well, I'm ahead. I'm going to go plus one fast eBay rush and really put the pressure on you in the mid-game. Right? Like, really have a lot of Marines and Medics. I actually kind of disagree with that as being the best follow-up. Because that's normally what I see in these positions. I like what Speed is doing. He's going two Barracks 
and he's going for an academy. So this is a two barracks academy rush. And this is going to allow him to not only put on very fast, heavy pressure, but also if Yoon was trying to all in from here, speed would be able to sniff it out and hold it because he'll be able to get his commsats faster. He's going to have a higher army count earlier on. He's going to have stim faster, range faster, all those things. So I really like this follow-up. Now, that being said, he's going for a third Rax before an engineering bay, and no one ever does this. If you asked me who was playing here, you covered up these names, and you just showed me this, and you let me look around the Terran base, I would be like, this is a foreigner. <laughs> this is... This is a non-Korean player trying to sneak a victory with fast three barracks. This is not a build that you ever see, right? It's just the timing on it isn't really super there. We'll see how many units he's able to make out of this before Muta's ready. <laughs> All right, so like he is he is making a fire bat. He's, in fact, he's making two fire bats and a uh, Marine right now. He's got a nice solid 10 Marines with two medics. I think he's just waiting for the fire bat. Get a fire bat in this wall. See, he's trying to zone everything out, and there you go. The fire bat is ready, and now he can go across the map. Now, that being said, a scan goes down. He's seeing what he's up against. It's going to be double sunken, which is definitely what you want. Ooh, Yoon with a good micro picks a medic. A really good pick off there. By the way, he's getting that plus, that fast range. And I think you can see here that that third Rax didn't really end up doing that much. Right? You, they, they, you just never see that. Normally, you'll just see the quicker eBay. Uh, instead, get that plus one started. Yeah, I guess he... I guess he has, like, one more unit that's now rallied up to his army. <laughs> but, yeah, it doesn't feel like that's doing that much. I, I want to be amazed and be like, wow, see, speed really plays his own game. And he does. I don't I don't know that it did anything. Right? I don't, I don't know that it actually helped here. <laughs> and realistically, it might have slowed the plus one slightly. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, anyways, the Mutas are now out. Yoon is safe. He actually even canceled that second Sunken. Uh, we have a third base up, and he actually sends the Fire Bats over here. There's no drones here yet. He might purposefully have not made any units there to see if Fire Bats are going to show up. Because normally this is what you do with your Fire Bats. After the very, like, as the Mutas are coming out, you send the Fire Bats off to look for other bases if you made some. Now, the Muta harassment is actually amazing. Or the Well, it's not exactly harassment, right? He's just picking off a lot of the Marines. In fact, it looks like he's just going to get this whole group and the Medic, which is really, really solid. I believe he only lost one Muta during that whole thing. Factory is on the way. Yoon starting to, starting to deal some damage here. Lots of turrets coming up. This depot's free whenever he really wants it. But of course, if you're killing that depot, you're not... You're not getting other damage. Yeah, I would like to see him finish that turret. I think that turret's going to be important. Yoon right now producing... Well, he is getting plus one uh, air attack. He's also producing a lot of mutalisks, starting that third gas. There is still a fire bat here, so things could go wrong. I, he must think he got both fire bats. Because I don't... You would never make drones there and leave a fire bat up there. You'd send a Muta or two Lings or something like that. So this Firebat actually is going to do some great work. We'll we'll jump over there in a minute. But right now, Yoon trying to get some additional damage. Chases the drones away. That's a minimum. He might get some kills too. It is stimmed. It is a little bit quicker. Ooh, he actually misses the attack. Must be microing over here right now and focusing. Because, uh, yeah, like if you micro that like with full attention, you can absolutely kill at least two of those drones. Looks like he won't end up getting it. Fire Bat will die to these Lings. And see, he sent a Muta and two Lings. <laughs> but yeah, that's the normal way to deal with that. Anyways, it's not both. It's one or the other. One Muta or two Lings. Now, <clears throat> double Starport coming. Science facility on the way. Lots of marine production. Yoon right now. He's going to want to drone up. Starts his Hydralisk Den. Okay. Yeah, doesn't want to just stay on Mutas forever, obviously. It's, it's not like he's doing a Mutalisk all in here. Going to want to continue uh, those types of hits. Really utilizing the terrain here. What he's looking for is something sticking out. You want your Marines in a flat line against where the Mutas are coming in so that you get maximum shots going off. But as soon as you have a unit that strays to the side, that's when Zerg bounces. See? 
He didn't have them real. If they're in a perfectly straight line, a good Zerg will never come in, right? But as soon as you have units that are kind of like moving to the side and popping out and like you have like these, right? Look at the shape. Is it not flat? Okay, well, there's units to, to pick off. And that's what he's looking for. That's why he's flying around it and all that, right? See? Picks off a few. Does lose a Muta there. More Mutas and Lings up here a little bit. Ooh, he flies into the missile turrets. Maybe a little bit of a, a mistake right there. Fifth Racks coming up. Good, solid 41 SCVs. 32 drones right now, though, so Yoon is actually getting a pretty good economy. The scan goes down to see where he's at as far as defense goes over here. He sees the timing of that uh, Queen's Nest, which is really important as well. These Mutas just doing a great job at slowing him down, right? Speed has been playing just in this area forever. But the thing is, this is okay for Speed, too. This is not... Just because Yoon is doing a good job with the Mutas, it's like he hasn't killed the whole army. He killed the first initial army, but since then... Like, Speed has been very on point with his production. He's kept his Marine count pretty pretty, pretty healthy, right? Pretty solid. This is a good amount. He's got a critical mass where you can't actually kill the whole thing. And now he's getting up into Irradiates, which is really... This is the next really important stage of this game. What can he get done with the Irradiates? That's a hilarious command center, because that could be canceled so quickly. <laughs> yeah, nothing being sent there. I think Yoon doesn't, doesn't think something like that's occurring right now. Now, Radiate is done. He is going to have one. Definitely wants to use it on the Mutas. Yeah, gets a very good one, aiming for one of the deeper ones in the stack to deal extra damage, harder to pull out. So, does get a couple Muta kills with that, and these are much, much weaker now. So, very solid. This Vessel actually took quite a bit of damage. He's going to want to be careful about that. Do not... Uh, losing Vessels is... is so painful. Now, this is interesting, okay? He's reducing the Mutalist count pretty heavily already. He's going into double dropship, and in fact, he might go to four dropship. Four dropship is pretty popular. We'll see if he adds on two more after that or not, but uh, as you kill those Mutalists off, if you actually reduce the Mutalist count, like, really dramatically, a dropship follow-up is very strong. Ooh! He actually killed off that. I don't think he got the irradiate off on that one. So he killed a vessel. That was really, really good. And now we have multiple lurkers being burrowed here. He's going to stack them. So it's really hard to tell how many are in that stack. Do you try to break it? You're like, oh, if it's one lurker, I can break it maybe. No, it's four lurkers. You get absolutely destroyed if you go in there. No nidus or anything yet like that. Defiler Mound is on the way. Nidus is ready. And yeah, it gets started. And places one Mutalisk over the Lurkers so they can't be irradiated. Yep, you're not going to be able to click on those underneath the Muta. With the Irradiate. It's a little bit different than me clicking here, and I can drag select and stuff. You can't do that while aiming and irradiate. And puts the Overlord over, which is even a better even a better move. Now, it tries to break, but that's four Lurkers. There's like... That's kind of an insane move right there. Now, he kills off everything, and look at this. Here is the drop. Oh, so this is what's going on. Really trying to uh, take his attention elsewhere. He's actually going for the vessels. I mean, uh, the spire. He kills the spire here, but he just lost two more vessels. So he's lost three vessels. He lost all his dropships, right? His dropships are gone? Yeah. So, oh no, he has one more and he's actually in drop. Ooh, this is an excellent drop. This is, this is superb. If he can cancel this, that's awesome. That's really strong to slow the fourth base by that much. Yep, gets it. Very, very nice. And this will be annoying for Yoon to remove as well. Okay. So, where are we at in this game? This has been kind of a wild game so far. What's the vessel count? Let's take a look. One there. One there. So he's got a drop ship. He's got two vessels. Yeah, you can see how annoying that is to clear up. That's not that good. And he's going towards battle cruisers. Um I actually I like Yoon's position just slightly more. It's it's a I think it's a very close game right now. I actually kind of like Yoon's Yoon's position. Yeah, he's gonna be able to clear this out, right? There's not going to be any more drops likely this game. It, there's a possibility, but not too, too likely. One thing I do have to say, uh, say about speed that I really love here is the adding of the third star port. He has a third gas. Realistically, for the correct macro in uh, SK Terran, you want one star port per gas. 
So that's really going to help him to refill that vessel count, which I think is going to be incredibly important. Uh, he is going for battle cruisers as well, which is going to take up a ton of build time. And three battle cruisers are better than two. Three is actually pretty damn scary if you're making three battle cruisers at a time, especially when your opponent is mostly focusing on lings, right? And we can see that he's not he's not trying to go like Hydra Lurker Defiler. If he was, the battle cruiser would be a lot harder to use. Now, he is actually making more dropships again, which I find kind of interesting and not what I expected at all. Kindness plating on the way. Now, oh, there's only two lurkers there. He's actually going to be able to get in here and break this, it looks like. You see, it's really hard to actually target anything there. A dark swarm goes down, but a little bit late. And he's still going to be able to get some damage. Oh, man, targets that down as well. Very, very well done. That's a crazy move. I think he was trying to get up there to kill the Nidus, maybe, because he's going with a massive attack towards that top left. If he got that Nidus, you might be able to secure the kill here. But without getting the Nidus, the reinforcements are so easy to get over here. Okay, he's gonna. looks like he's going to erase her a single vessel, but I don't know if that's going to get any kills. Looks like it'll be picked off. Another vessel bites the dust. Yoon doing such a good job this game at reducing vessel counts. Bunker going up at this bottom left. Looks like he wants to try to have a fourth base up in mining. Yeah, more battle cruisers are getting queued up now. There, are, you kind of want your battle cruisers all at the same time, so some of these might sit for a bit. Ooh, this eraser going to be absolutely insane. Oh my god, he kills so many drones there. Really, really superbly done. Damn, that is a that is a big hit to Yoon's economy right there. Careful. <laughs> the racer works on Marine Medic as well. Okay, just pulls those back. Make sure that they live for now. The Lings, I think, have scouted this base, so at least he knows about that. And now we have Ultras coming out. I honestly don't know the way that this game is going to end up going. It seems like speed has done a, a good job here. Like, I felt, you know, I felt like it was pretty even and maybe I liked Yoon's position a little bit more. But now that speed's on four base, he's, he's killed a lot of drones. The drone count is not very high. We still have enough supply for Yoon to play with here, so that's something. Uh, and he is starting to hit his plagues and everything. He is starting to get some Ultralisks out. But that makes the Battlecruisers much stronger, right? So he has... Well, does he only have one BC right now? I believe so. Another drop up here. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Yeah, a few Ultras starting to come out. If Yoon could have just kept his economy together a little bit more, right? His fourth base got really slowed down. The Eraser killed everything there. And this is starting to make it feel like uh, speed might be on the brink of this game. But still very playable supply, right? You really got to get Zerg down into like 70 to, to end it. Now he is chasing out. Oh, yeah. He's going to get the Nidus and... Oh, just barely doesn't get that hatchery. But getting the Nidus is going to be big. It, once you kill this Nidus, there's a very high chance that you kill this base. I think he's trying to get up to a Spore right now. Yeah, it doesn't get a Defiler route or anything like that, unfortunately. Yoon looks like he might be going for a counterattack, like throwing down Dark Storm. He might try to get on top of production. Maybe that's a move that can really change things. Now, that being said, the Battle Crews are going to be redirected to kill this hatch. Very, very good snipe. So we will be able to get that. There are some Scourge being made somewhere. But not in time, obviously, to deal with that. Unfortunately for Yoon, he does get caught on his way over. He gets one Dark Swarm up, so this will be annoying. Two Dark Swarms? Hey, I'm pretty good. But, you know, there's two other bases that are mining. Unless he can continually reinforce. Like... Mm, I mean, the Ultras are really, really strong, but I don't think you can get up here and actually stop the production. Speed is pulled back into a very strong spot. In fact, he's almost to 3-3, and we don't see Yoon getting further upgrades, so his Ultra's not going to continue to scale that well. Still a little containment force. Only three base for Yoon. Looks like the Battlecruiser has made its way into the main base, will be picked off after a plague. And he does force a lift off here. I don't think he'll be able to quite break through this area. I like the multiple bunkers. Well, no, actually, you know, maybe he can. Maybe he can. 
Oh, he blocks with the medics. Perfect play. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, so he's not going to be able to end this space. You know, if he didn't... Well, he's... Yeah, it, the, already too much damage, plus the irradiates. So it looks like this is not really going to be able to shut down the base. And yeah, Yoon is going to GG. That was a pretty sick game, though. Uh, very well fought by both sides. Really interesting, aggressive plays from speed, as always. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.